Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to simulate ESP32 projects using the WalkY simulator with ESP Home. Using simulations before real-world deployment offers many advantages for electronics projects. Cost and time savings, improved performance and reliability, support for training and research. In short, simulation helps you verify your project's feasibility before you build it. So let's get started simulating ESP32 with WalkY and ESP Home. First, I'll briefly introduce ESP32 and ESP Home for those who are unfamiliar. The ESP32 is a low-cost, powerful microcontroller from Espressif with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's commonly used in IoT and embedded electronics projects. It features a dual-core CPU, many peripherals, and low-power consumption. In summary, the ESP32 is a great choice for project needing wireless connectivity and strong processing power at a low cost. ESP Home makes programming ESP devices, like the ESP32, easy without writing complex code. Instead, you write configuration files, usually in YAML, to define the device's functions. Key features of ESP Home. Easy to use, even for those without programming experience. Excellent integration with Home Assistant. Supports many hardware components, over-the-air OTA firmware updates, open source. For example, if you want to create a Wi-Fi connected temperature and humidity sensor, ESP Home only requires a few lines of configuration. In short, ESP Home is a powerful tool to help you create IoT devices and integrate them into your home automation system. To use ESP Home with WalkWi, I'll use ESP Home with the command line and Docker. First, you need to install Docker. Then you'll get the ESP Home Docker image using the command. Next, we'll create a YAML file. This file will declare the components you want in your firmware. Instead of complex coding, you only need this file. Now we will try to build the firmware for the ESP32 using the command. Okay, done. Next, we'll take a look at WalkWi. WalkWi is a powerful and free online simulator that lets you simulate electronic projects directly in your web browser. Key features of WalkWi. Runs in your browser, no installation needed. Supports many microcontrollers. Extensive component library. Intuitive interface. Real-time simulation. Code debugging. Project sharing, free to use. The benefits of using WalkWi. Save costs, save time, reduce risks, supports learning and teaching. Now let's start a WalkWide project. I'll create a circuit with an ESP32C3, an ILI9341 screen, and a DHT22 sensor.
display. Programming the ESP32 to communicate with the screen and sensor is not easy for everyone. But with ESP Home, it becomes simple. Besides using it on the web, Walkway can also be used in VS Code with the Walkway extension. To simulate the project on Walkway and VS Code, you need two files, walkway.toml, the configuration file, and diagram.json, the circuit description file. The walkway.toml file needs to know the path to the firmware files. We'll find the firmware.bin and firmware.elf files in the directory where ESP Home built them. the simulation however we don't see the log yet because Wakwi is displaying the log at UART 0 I will modify the firmware build and run again a problem with the Wi-Fi, it only found this SSID. I will find out how WalkWi is simulating Wi-Fi. So in the simulation environment, they provide us this Wi-Fi. Now I will add it. Now we'll 
rebuild the firmware and run the simulation again. Using this method, you can quickly create an IoT project and test its feasibility before building the real thing. In the next video, I'll deploy this project in the real world and explain the YAML file in more detail to create firmware for the ESP32. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Goodbye. See you again.